Good morning, everybody. It is currently 5.15 a.m. I am currently in Barbados. This is day two of my flight attendant trip. So yesterday we went from Philadelphia to Miami and then Miami to Barbados. And today we only have one flight, which is really nice. We go from Barbados to Miami. I had an absolutely fabulous layover here yesterday. The weather was perfect. The sun was shining. The water felt amazing. My crew is awesome. It's just one of those trips where like everything was great. But anyway, our pickup is at 5.30 a.m. So I'm going to put my uniform on, finish getting my room together, and then we can head out of here. that someone is going out on a boat. I just got to my hotel room here in Miami. Our flight here actually felt pretty long because the flying time was three hours and 45 minutes. And as we were pushing back from the gate and taxiing out, the pilots noticed a maintenance issue on the plane. We did have to go back to the gate, wait for maintenance to come on board, fix that issue, and then get all of the paperwork done in the logbook and whatnot. And then we could push back again from the gate. So with all of that, we were delayed, I wanna say about 40 minutes, but we landed 30 minutes later than our original landing time. So we took off 40 minutes later than we were supposed to, but we landed 30 minutes later than originally scheduled. So I guess that means they made up some of the time in the air. I don't really know. I'm tired and I'm rambling now. <laughs> but let me show you guys around this hotel room. Look at this gorgeous bathroom. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. This is so nice. We have the full length mirror right here that opens into a closet. There's this mirror right here with large counter space. I love that and then look at how beautiful the shower is. That tile is so pretty. There's even a robe here. And then above the toilet, we have that picture. And then look how pretty this wallpaper is. I love how tropical and unique it is. I think that is so cute. And then in this little nook, we have a Nespresso. And then here is the room. We have a king size bed right here. There's lamps on the desks next to the bed. There's some artwork right there. We have some more over there, a couch. There's a little desk right there with another mirror and of course a large TV and then and out the window, I love this giant window that is so pretty. You can see the water. I love that blue water, it's so pretty. I'm so sad though because it's a cloudy day out and it was raining a little bit too. The last two times I have been in Florida, last time was Tampa, now I'm in Miami. I was hoping for sunshine and it has been cloudy both times. I wanted to lay out by the pool so bad today, but with it being rainy and cloudy and also pretty windy outside, I just feel like that's not really the vibe for the day. And I'm just so upset because I'm like, why does this keep happening? Like, why is it every time I come to Florida lately, it's not sunny, but it's okay. I'm not gonna let that ruin my day. I'm honestly not gonna let anything ruin my day because I have the power to either make my day great or to make my day horrible. That is the mindset that I have just been really trying to think about every day is that life is really what you make it your attitude can make your day horrible or it can make it great, even if things go wrong. So that's what I'm trying to do today. So I think right now what I could do is I could change and go to the gym because that's something I wanted to do anyway. You guys, I'm so mad at myself. I messed up. Okay, not that bad. I'm being dramatic, but I'm a little bit annoyed with myself. Okay, so the day that I left for this trip, I just had this nagging feeling all day long like I was forgetting something, but obviously I couldn't remember what I was forgetting. Otherwise I would have just grabbed whatever it was. Let me tell you all about something that I think we should all remember to bring with us when we travel, especially for our international trips, and that is the Tesson Universal Travel Adapter. It is compatible with more than 200 countries around the world. It also has a very lightweight design, which makes it really easy to travel with. You have the US switch, and then below that, you have the UK switch, and then on the bottom, you have the EU. On the bottom of the adapter, you have two USB-A ports, right here and then two USB-C ports. As you can see, I have the travel adapter plugged into the wall over here. And currently I have my Apple Watch, my cell phone, my Kindle, and my AirPods all charging at once. A lot of places don't have a lot of outlets. A lot of times they only have one. So when you have a product like this, it works really, really well because you can charge multiple things at the same time while only needing technically one outlet. Make sure that you pick up the Tesson Universal Travel 
adapter. You can click the link in my video description box below to pick one up and make sure that no matter where you are in the world, you will always be able to charge all of your devices. So as soon as I got to my hotel in Barbados yesterday, I'm unpacking my bag and I'm getting ready to go to the beach. And then I realized I forgot to pack deodorant, which I was just like, oh my gosh, how did I forget to not pack that? But anyway, I went downstairs and I talked to the hotel people and thankfully they had deodorant that they could give me, which was really nice. So that problem was solved. But then you guys on this trip, well, it's the same trip. Sorry, I'm like all over the place trying to tell the story. But anyway, on this same trip, I just opened my suitcase, went to grab socks to wear to go work out in. And guess what? I forgot to pack socks. So on this trip, I forgot to pack deodorant and socks, two of like the most basic normal items to pack for a trip. And it's like, how long have I been a flight attendant? How many trips have I been on? My goodness. Okay, so what I ended up doing is I'm wearing my leggings and then under my leggings, I am wearing my flight attendant work tights. But like, look, it's, you can't even tell. They do look like socks. I honestly might sweat a lot in the gym wearing my work tights and my leggings, but also that's kind of the point of going to the gym. I did try on my shoes without wearing socks, but it just felt weird. Like my feet felt like they were sticky and I also don't want to get blisters. I honestly could just try to walk somewhere and find socks, but I just really, really don't feel like doing that. Like I'm just in the mindset now of wanting to go get this workout in, come back up to my room, take a shower, relax, order some food, maybe get some editing done on my laptop, probably read a little bit and then go to bed very early because we also have to get up so early tomorrow morning, like earlier than I had to get up today. And I had to wake up at like, 4, 4.30 this morning. So there's that too. But with all that said, I'm ready to go to the gym. So I'm gonna go get my workout in and I'll talk to you guys after. I am back from the gym now. I'm gonna get some stretching in real quick. Um, I'm sorry if you can hear the construction going on behind you guys right now. It's really like a loud buzzing noise. So I'm sorry if you can hear that. But this gym had a no photography rule. And so obviously I wanted to respect that. So that's why I did not film my workout today. And obviously I think you are the biggest jerk in the world if there is like a no videography or photography rule. And if you don't follow that, then I think that is not cool. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am not trying to complain, but I am so, so tired right now. So I think what I'm gonna go, wow, can I talk? So I think what I am going to go do is I'm gonna look on DoorDash or Google Maps and see what there is around me to eat. And I'm gonna figure out if I can walk there, if I should get it delivered, what I want to eat. And then I'm gonna do that, take a shower and probably call it a day. Maybe I'll read or do some stuff on my laptop. I don't know yet, but I am just really tired. Okay, let's look at food nearby. I just had food delivered and oh my gosh, you guys, I am so, so hungry. I got this place called Talkin' Tacos. Like, you know when you're so hungry that you're dizzy and lightheaded? Oh, that was loud. Yeah, that's pretty much what just happened with me. Oh my gosh, like I am like shaky because I'm so hungry. I don't know why I waited so long to eat. I'm never doing that again. Oh my gosh, this looks so delicious. Like my mouth is literally watering. I feel like food always just tastes so much better too when you're really hungry. I got a carne asada burrito and it came with chips and oh my gosh, look at this. It just looks so good. Mm, mm, mm. Have you ever seen the memes of the girls like once they get food, then they start dancing? Well, that's me. Okay, if you're in Miami, get talking tacos and get the carne asada burrito. That is fantastic. Hey guys, so as I was editing this video, I guess that I just completely stopped filming at this point for the entire night. So basically after I ate about half of my burrito, I just took a shower, I FaceTimed Eric, and then I went straight to bed. I was so exhausted. Anyway, just wanted to add a little bit of clarification. So let's get back into the vlog and pick up the next day. Good morning, everybody. So right now I was supposed to be mid-flight on my way back to Philadelphia, but I mean, clearly, as you can tell, that is not the case. Um, so after I took a shower, I pretty much just ate the rest of my burrito. I started a new book and then I was so tired. I just went to bed. 
but then I randomly woke up at 3 in the morning an hour before my alarm and I was laying there and I was like oh should I just check to see what time it is if I should start getting up or should I just lay here and wait for my alarm to go off well I decided to just click on my phone and just to look at the time and I saw that it was 3 in the morning and I also saw that I had a missed call and a voicemail from crew scheduling and about eight different text messages from my crew members so I like bolted up in bed and I was like oh my gosh what is going on I sleep with my phone on on silent unless if I'm on reserve if I'm on reserve then I sleep with my sound on so obviously the phone calls will wake me up my sound was off so obviously I didn't hear my phone going off well come to find out our flight has been rescheduled slash delayed until 3 30 p.m. today when we were supposed to take off at 6 55 a.m. now I have no idea why we are so delayed. This rarely happens in my opinion, like for me at least, like it rarely happens where, or at least for me, this really happens where it is a delay that is so long and you find out about it ahead of time. Like it's such a lengthy delay, but I'm just so glad that we knew about it now instead of being at the airport and then it just like rolling and rolling and rolling and just waiting around and seeing what's gonna happen. I would obviously so much rather wait out the delay here at the hotel than at the airport. Off the top of my head, the only reason I could think of our flight being delayed this long is maybe our aircraft got in last night and they realized there was a mechanical issue with it and so they took it to the hangar and it wasn't gonna be ready for us by departure time. And so they got us a different plane that is coming from somewhere else. Like that's the only thing I can think of or something happened with one of our pilots, timed out, maybe they got sick, I don't know. Like something could have happened with one of the pilots that we were supposed to have but anyway um now that we are here i'm gonna go on a walk and find a store because i need to buy a few things for the day Okay, I have an update for you guys. Okay, the last time I vlogged, I was just walking to CVS and I got some stuff, came back to the hotel, worked out, and I've pretty much just been editing since then. I said, you know what, if I'm gonna be stuck in this hotel, I am so, so far behind on editing. I'm gonna try and get as much work done as I can. And I'm getting ready to get up and start getting ready for work. And then I check our schedule and I see that our flight has been delayed again from 3.30 p.m. to 5.07 p.m. And I'm like, that is really odd. I wonder why this is happening. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, like it is annoying. Like it's the flight home. It always happens like this. It's like Murphy's Law. It always happens when it is the last flight home. It's supposed to be an easy day, just one leg. And then, you know, this happens. And I just, I miss Eric and Luna a lot on this trip. I talked about it in my Barbados vlog where I just, I really miss them and I just really want to get home. Trying to stay positive and not get overly frustrated because I know I will obviously eventually get home. At this point, I just don't know when that's going to be. Popping in again. So as I'm editing this portion of today's video, I realized that I didn't really do a good job of keeping a good attitude while all of this was going on, which that's something that I even talked to you guys about earlier was trying to stay positive and just keep a really good attitude even during the times when like things aren't going my way but also at the same time I have to give myself some grace I'm only human and in the moment I was pretty frustrated because I was really tired and I was just ready to go home so this is just me saying that all of us myself included we are not perfect but all that we can do is just strive to be better strive to be more positive strive to have a better attitude also after I filmed this clip I guess I just decided to stop vlogging as well um so I just wanted to fill you guys in that we eventually did get another plane and we did make it home that night. Look, when I'm like this, you guys wouldn't even know the surprise that is behind me. Luna, you want to say hello to everybody? Oh, look at the foot. Look at the foot. Oh, hi, baby. Precious new now. As you all can tell, I obviously am home now. I am leaving for a very exciting trip in two days. Actually, we're going to a country that I have been to before, but a city in that country that I have never been to. So make sure that you all stay tuned for that. Thank you again so much to Tassan for sponsoring today's video. Make sure that you guys click that link in my video description box below to look at their universal travel adapter. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, everybody, for watching today's video. If you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe because I'd love to see you again in future videos. I hope that you all are having a fabulous day and I'll see you next time. Bye!